If you missed last week's video, here's what happened. We hit some bumps in the road as we tried to move forward on building the roof. The lift is stuck. We installed the fascia and that was not the end of our struggles. We've been up there trying to paint the trim and our airless sprayer isn't working. We ended up finishing what we needed to and now we are ready to move on to installing the next part of the roof. Will this next step be as challenging as the previous step? Watch and find out. Hello everybody! Beautiful day today out on the ranch. We are doing stuff today. The crane is coming and I will show you why it's coming. Okay, so the other day we finished painting. Right now I have to climb up our festival of ladders to get onto the roof to show you what's going on. So here's another one. Basically, we are getting our plywood delivered today for the subfloor of the roof. So, oh, okay, I don't have the good ladder because we, let me show you what we did. We painted the fascia and we needed the small ladder. So I can't go up there with this ladder, but I can show you. I just can't go up there. Friggin' sketchy. If you guys saw how far it is over there, <laughs> you'd think I'm crazy. You probably already think I'm crazy, but... Okay. Mm, it still smells like fresh paint. Alright, so I don't know if you can see, but we painted the roof. Again, we painted the risers. Right here is a good example. If you see all the risers and around the riser and where they connect to the galvanized tube. We painted with the marine paint. So, get down because this is friggin sketchy. So basically today we are going to get the plywood delivered and we have to have it craned onto the roof because we ordered 49 sheets of plywood and I think we will use almost all of them. We just bought a couple extra just in case because you never know. And if we don't use them for this, we will use them for this balcony right here. So basically the crane is gonna come, they're on three pallets and we're gonna distribute them on the roof so that way we can start to install them. Uh, we are using inch and an eighth tongue and groove. So they're pretty heavy each sheet. Um, they're, they're not the easiest to, uh, to move around. And yeah, so it's better if we put them on the roof direct, which is why we're just having them craned onto the roof directly so we don't have to bring 49 sheets one by one up our little festival of ladders ladder 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 <laughs> so yeah we're just waiting for the crane right now we're kind of preparing the site making sure that everything's we have enough space for the crane and kind of like figuring out all of the logistics of everything so we're gonna wait for the crane to get here and then uh, crane the plywood on the roof and then I think we're gonna try to install some of them. I don't know, we have a couple other things we have to do today so we'll see how it goes. So let's go. Time to party. I'm not gonna lie, it is always super stressful when the crane is here because it's heavy equipment and it's just scary and stressful and it's high anxiety, high stress, high pressures. Fingers crossed, everything goes good. Here we go. Game time. is gonna go right here and one is gonna go over there. Super stressful. Nice scary crane day. 
but so far so good and I'm glad he really knows what he's doing so get her done Two down, one to go. All right, time to install the plywood. But first, a word from today's sponsor. You should never leave the house without one of these. This 12-in-1 multi-tool by Bib is the ultimate accessory to carry around with you. The carrying case makes it super easy to store on your belt and it easily slides in and out of pockets, making this tool convenient and super easy to carry around. The bib multi-tool comes in handy for so many things. Use the knife to sharpen a pencil, the hammer to hammer or remove a nail, the screwdriver to adjust tools. It also comes with a wire cutter, bottle opener, pliers, a saw blade, and a file. It has the safety lock on the side to keep everything in place while you're not using it. There's also a lock at the bottom of the tool. This bib multi-tool is great to carry around in a toolbox, in your car, or around the building site. It has so many uses and I always end up using mine for the most random tasks. This is a must-have tool for everyone and anyone. This 12-in-1 multi-tool is super handy and is a great thing to have on the building site. Be sure to click the exclusive link in the description to pick one up for yourself. Don't miss the exclusive 20% discount between October 14th and November 15th. This multi-tool will be the perfect gift for the holidays for anyone who likes the outdoors, DIY crafts, camping, or hiking. Don't forget to click the link in the description to pick one up before the sale is over. Special thank you to Bib for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to it. Oh, my God. 
As always, I feel like we can never do stuff easily. It always has to be a freaking struggle. So we're here trying to install the first row of plywood for like the last, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. And as you can see, we have an issue. So for whatever reason, this is the first time this has happened out of everything that we've been doing. This one wouldn't go in past here it's in the tube we can see underneath like if i if i don't think you can see on the camera but i'm gonna try okay so it's in the tube right there but for whatever reason it won't go past that so we've been trying seriously for the last 30 minutes to get this screw out and it's not and it won't go out. We tried everything. We tried to put it back in. We tried to use pliers. We tried everything. And uh, now the head just broke off. So so we're gonna, thankfully it's only screwed in in two other places. So we're gonna try to remove those two and uh, attempt to uh, Look, babe, look at my hair. <laughs> Woo. You guys wonder why I wear this little headpiece. That's why all these little things be flying in my eyes when I'm working. Anyways, I think we fixed the issue. I have so much sawdust in my eyes. Which is pretty real. <laughs> so basically, we just did a pilot hole with a, a metal a drill bit where we have to install the wood to metal screw and then we screwed the wood to metal screw in with the impact drill and it went better so we're gonna try that and see if it works better for all the rest that we have to do it's getting late though so i think we will probably stop soon because we're tired <laughs> we're tired and it's getting late but we're gonna try to do one more row you can see we are just two sheets in right here half of one sheet and this is one full sheet and we're gonna try to do this row and then call it a night You can probably hear the plastic. Uh, it's windy, so it's blowing it around everywhere. So basically, as you can see, we got two rows of the plywood kind of situated. They're not completely screwed down yet. We're gonna do that today. Yesterday, it just got late and we couldn't finish. So we're obligated to put this plastic because the humidity is so high. It basically, Without it raining, it basically is is rain. <laughs> the dew becomes rain. And the moisture and the condensation and everything. We just have to do that because we don't really have too many sunny days in the future. And when we apply the roof base layer, it's gotta be dry. So we don't wanna have to wait for the plywood to dry. And then like, maybe it won't be dry. <laughs> 
So anyways, we didn't want to take a chance and we have this painter's plastic. It's pretty thick. I think it's like 3.5 mil. So we just were like, screw it. So we just covered it. So now we have to uncover everything so that we can go ahead and screw down the first layer and then start to work on the second layer and the third layer and work our way across. But so far, so good. It took us a while to kind of figure out what works best for whatever reason. We did like more than a hundred. We installed over a hundred of the self uh, drilling wood to metal screws on like here, like where we installed the pressure treated wood on the tubes all around. And we only had like, I don't know, maybe like five or six that didn't work and broke and we just redid them and it was fine. But yesterday, <laughs> like almost all of them that we tried to s screw didn't work for some reason. So basically now we are doing a pilot hole first and then doing the self drilling screw and that seems to be working better. So that's good, but it kind of took us a while to figure that out. One screw broke as you saw and got stuck in the plywood. So we had to like move the plywood to get it out and blah, blah. All those things add up. And then by the time you get going, it's like 8 PM and you have to stop. <laughs> but all I can say is I'm not really looking forward to doing this part of the roof. E. <laughs> So anyways, we are gonna get everything set up and get after it. Have them secure, you know? Yeah.
these uh with this ear protection on. Look at the view though. How pretty is that? Beautiful. It's nice too because it's like a nice cool breeze blowing through, which is cool because sometimes doing physical labor is hot. Okay, let's go. So we had a good pace going and I was like, oh, it's going well. It's, we can get what we want to get done, done in a good amount of time. Well, I jinxed it. Um, I drilled the drill bit broke, um, which honestly I'm kind of surprised that it made it that far because I did like 600 holes with it. <laughs> before it broke, but I pushed it too hard, of course, and uh, it broke, but that's okay. I just took one that was really uh, similar in size. I think it's like a 64th bigger, and we can continue, but now we're having problems with our impact drill. Um, it is not putting the screws into the plywood and into the steel it just obviously they'll go through the plywood but once they get to the steel it just it just won't go so we have to take the impact wrench oh yeah, my god i can't even talk i'm so tired the impact drill that we ordered that broke like literally two screws in like a spring uh flung out, sprung out. <laughs> so we're gonna have to use tape to hold the little like head for the screws in. And hopefully we can finish what we're doing. Let's see if it works. It's gonna be loud, better get my, my ear protection. It's kind of scary that they don't uh, drive in, you know? Ah, and this... Should put it on this? I don't know. Difference. It's too speed. Alright. So, take a new screw. Should try one of those. We got this one in, but it's like the impact drill. It looks like it's struggling. So I don't know, maybe the battery isn't strong enough. I don't know at this point. We don't know because we just did like, seriously like 500 of them and everything was fine. And now all of a sudden it's uh, not working. And the only thing that is different is we changed the battery because our we need to charge our other batteries because they're dead. <laughs> and me and Viant, we took a smaller battery. For me, it is fine because it's not asking a lot to drill holes, but it's asking a lot to uh, to make these screws go in. So I don't know, maybe it's the battery. We're gonna try that and see if it uh, if it makes a difference. So you think it was that? Huh? You think it was that? Yeah. Try the old one. You, you need the head though, I think. Is 
Is that the only head that we have? Yeah. You think it'll be okay if you put it in there or you want me to clean it off with okay. my knife? I get it. Okay. What's up? You want to try again over there? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so maybe it was just too hot. It's too hot. And maybe the battery. Battery. Okie dokie. Done for the day. As you can see, we have all of the plastic out. Because also, as you can see, it's super, 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 super high humidity. So it's not raining, but it's basically 100% humidity, which means it's like misty. It, we're in a cloud. <laughs> but yeah, so we're done for the day. All the plywood is wrapped up to protect it against the water. It sucks that we have to do that, but that is life in the Pacific Northwest, especially on the coast. Anyways, so we got two rows of plywood completely installed and screwed in. We finally figured out the issue with the drill. Uh, when the battery gets too low, it won't push the screw. Sorry, we finally figured out the issue with the screws. When the battery gets too low on the impact driver, it won't push the screws through the steel. So that's what was causing our problem. So we just switched the batteries out when it got difficult and uh then it went well after that so it's always little stuff like that that you know arises and then you have to kind of like figure it out and problem solve and troubleshoot and things like that and always when you're doing something new you kind of have to find like a good workflow figure out what works figure out what doesn't so you know for somebody that has like years of experience i'm sure like that's just like boom 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 they can you know knock something out real quick but me and Viant, every step that you guys see us do is our first time doing it pretty much. So this is our first time installing plywood on a roof. This is our first time doing a roof in general. So got to figure some stuff out. And not only that, it is something that is not common. So anyways, good day. We're going to get back at it tomorrow and hopefully make more progress. Tomorrow we have to move all of these over here and uh, then disperse them and eventually we will encounter the abyss which we are both not looking forward to but it is necessary to move forward so until next time peace here's what's coming up next on pacific pines ranch another day out here on the ranch working on the roof Help support our channel by leaving a comment, liking, and sharing this video. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on Pacific Pines Ranch. We put out new videos every Saturday and sometimes even during the week. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any. Okay, bye.